Hey guys, what's up? This is me again coming at you live. Um, trying to inspire you with another video. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my Twitter yet, you're not following me on Twitter, I suggest you follow me, um, Team 3D Army. I put a lot of inspirational quotes. Every time I'm inspired, I go ahead and I put a quote um, to inspire others. Sometimes it's quotes that I, you know, heard from someone else, or it's quotes that I, you know, most of the time gen gen generate myself. So what I'm what I do now nowadays is I just go on Twitter and I look at my quotes and I try to make videos based on them, trying to explain to you guys what I mean by them. Because a lot of my quotes I try to make them concise and really small, so you um a lot of people don't understand what I really mean, and they probably they sometimes get a different inter interpretation than what I, I originally intended. Uh, right now, so I'm on my Twitter account. Um, hold on. I put a champion winning a medal is life's way of making you realize that someone else is holding a trophy. I'm gonna read it again. A champion winning your medal, winning a medal could be any champion. Could be uh, you watching Mr. Olympia, you know, Phil Heath wins, or you watching uh, Michael Phelps win a medal. Any champion winning a medal is life's way of making you realize. That someone else is holding your trophy. Now, why do I say that? Because I really believe on the on the competitive nature of males in general. I'm not speaking about women because I don't know a lot about women, so I'm not trying to be sexist or anything. I'm just speaking from a male standpoint. We're very competitive, and some women are too. But uh, and I believe that it's not a curse. A lot of people see that as arrogance and oh, why is it competitive? No, competition is is needed for the evolution of mankind. You know, without competition, even in the economy, prices will be off the charts and qualities of products will go down. When you have a, a, a competitor, it forces you to make better products, lower your prices and things like that. So it, it betters everyone else. Same thing with accomplishments. The more you have a rival or somebody to push you to compete, you push harder. And as you're pushing harder and somebody else that's crossing the street sees your grind, they get inspired to become also better. And next thing you know, it's a domino effect. So I really believe that com competition is needed for the, evolu for the evolution of mankind in so many different aspects. So... I want people to really tap into that. If you're a male, tap into your competitive nature. Don't shun upon it. Don't see it as noise, arrogance, it's cocky. A lot of people call me cocky when I'm really not. It's just that I'm very confident and I, I believe in my competitive nature. I don't push it aside. It's there for a reason. I was born with that for a reason. Because I would never want to become better unless I had, you know, that desire to want to be the best. So I believe that every time, you know, uh, everything is in your mind. Right, you could imagine anything. So every time you see somebody winning something, don't you know? Of course, you want to applaud and be like, "Yo, good job!" Like I said before, uh, other people's other people see greatness and applaud. I see greatness and set goals. It's that same principle. Every time I see somebody win something, I'm excited for them. Don't get me wrong. When I see somebody get compliments, I'm like, "Yeah, man, that person did a good job." But then Plan B kicks in. The competitive nature goes Google, 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 and it always tells me. Fuck you doing here giving props. Yeah, yeah, you get props, but then next step is I want to see you on that throne. The, my competitive angel, I call it, my competitive nature hates when I'm when I'm second place. Team second to none. It always wants me to be the best. And I love it for that because it pushes me when I feel like being lazy and sit home and play games. It pushes me to try to be the best. Every time I go on YouTube and I see uh, uh Chris Jones back, I'm like, this motherfucker's back is so wide. And I'm happy, I'm I'm, I'm applauding. And then boom. Google, my competitor wakes up like, yo, yeah, he has a good back, yeah, fuck that, where's your back at, get your back up, you know what I'm saying, when I see somebody with great legs, as much as I hate training legs, I, wa I watch the person, I'm like, man, he has some big ass legs, man, nice, nice quads, Google, <laughs> competitor wakes up and tells me, hey, alright, 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 yeah, you know, he has, he has some nice quads, pull out a piece of fucking paper and I want you to measure your quads and I want you to like double them or like whatever, set some, some, some crazy ass goals, and, and I want to see you on that pedestal, you know, and that pushes me to want to be the best. And I believe everyone should really listen to the voice of the competitive nature and, and keep challenging themselves, you know, to be, try to become a better person. And like I said, it's not about being, a, it's not about when I say be the best, it's not so you could look down on people. I want you to be the best so that you could inspire others to become better than you. And then that's inspires much to become better than them. And next thing you know, it's the evolution of, you know, um, of, of, of perfection you know that's what it's for so reach for the top not to be cocky not to be brash and make fun of people be the best so you could inspire the next generation and say hey i dare you to keep up with me i dare you to catch up you know push on that competitive nature you know me and my friends that my friends will tell you when i train with my friends i don't fuck around i push them even if they're weaker than me I try, I try to make them stronger than me so that when they get stronger i'm like fuck man i'm training him he's getting better than me i gotta push harder 
That's uh same thing with Muhammad, same thing with Matt. Every time I, I'm, I'm in the gym with them and I see their progress, yeah, I'm pushing them to be the best. I'm pushing them to be better than me, but it's, I'm only doing that because I want a better opponent. I want them one day to rival me or to become better than me so it could make me angry to become better. So it's a cycle of, of you know, constant evolution, constant progression. So you, wherever you are right now, always put in front of you um, a picture of greatness. Always put great people in front of you so that it will inspire you to become better. Uh, every time somebody... You turn on the TV and you hear about somebody winning some award, somebody winning a trophy. Always think that was mine. That should have been mine. You know, it's not like like I said. It's not negative. You know, it's good. It's gonna push you, push you way past your originally set limitation. Because as humans, we designed to evolve and we designed to 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 stay alive. So we only do what is necessary to remain alive. We never want to do more. We never want to cross the line. It's a survival mechanism. We, you know, we feel like if there's food here, we, let's just stay here. We only move when the water runs out. You know what I'm saying? So that goes against us sometimes because it stops us from progressing. We become happy with our, our past victories, which is the, the bane of, of, of progress. It's when you become satisfied with your current status. It doesn't matter how high you are. You always want to go higher. So you have to fight that mentality of being content, being mediocre with the average. Always fight that. And the only way to do that is to always pretend like somebody who just won an award or who just won a compliment. It's, you have to pretend like that person took your glory, right? Because we hate being stolen from. So if you start, if you trick your mind into believing that that trophy was yours or that medal was really yours, and the only reason why you didn't win is because you were being a little bitch and you weren't, you know, training hard enough, it's going to push you to say, no, I'm getting back what is mine. Every great winner will tell you that before they won, they believe that the first place trophy belonged to them and it was their job to go get it back. So have that mindset, have that mentality, guys. And um, like I said, every time somebody wins, that that trophy was really yours. They got it because their grind was better than yours and they were working harder than yours. What are you going to do about that? You're going to sit back and say, okay, it's just life? Or you're going to say, boo -boo, boo -boo, fuck that, I'm getting it back. You know what I'm saying? So best of luck. Set your goals really high. Surround yourself with greatness. And take back what is yours. Team 3D.